All right, so Newtown is a very niche market. I'll put it that way. It's it's a really specific area. You're either gonna love it or you're gonna hate it if you're someone moving to the area. So we're gonna talk about it. I'm gonna show you what it looks like and go over some of the nuances that make it either a really good fit for some people or not the right fit for some others. Now, if you look at this place, it literally looks like Pleasantville. It looks like something straight out of a movie. It's like a Hollywood set on the outskirts of St. Charles. I can't Kid you not. And it's funny because basically on one side of the road, you have lots of agricultural land. And then on the other side of the highway, you basically have this mass developed, you know, little town that looks like it's right out of a movie. Newtown is the kind of area where you're either gonna love it or you're gonna hate it. And if it's really not your style, you're gonna hate it. But for the people who like it and who kind of enjoy the lifestyle that comes along with it, it's great. Like it is absolutely perfect. So that's the one thing about it. Now it is a super close knit community. So people know each other very well. It's kind of like everyone always knows each other's business. So that's one thing that could go either way. You do not have mailboxes here. So so I will explain that in a minute. And then just the streets can kind of be a pain. They are very narrow. They're not really designed for big cars. And overall, I mean, really, it's just a different style of community compared to the rest of St. Charles County. So it is super unique. I mean, if you walk around it, if you take a look at it, you'll notice really quickly, like it is completely different and it is very community oriented. So for a lot of the families we've helped move here, it's great. They love it. They love the neighbors, the kids that go to school together. Like that's the kind of area you'll find here. If you like the aesthetic of what you see, it could be a great fit for you. So if you're moving to the area or somewhere else in St. Louis, St. Charles County, whatever it is, just send us an email, send us a quick text message. That is what we're here for. We'd love to hear from you. Now, it was also designed to be a very walkable area between the shops, the restaurants, just the layout of the neighborhood you will notice, especially with these little canals that kind of go throughout the place. That's one thing you'll see is very different. You have these canals going in between some of these neighborhoods, which makes it different for sure, but it just adds a very unique style to it. You will also see people driving around on golf carts. That's one thing I didn't mention in the video. Don't know why, just add to the community, the walkability, kind of how people get around, a lot of golf carts. Kind of like Cottleville, you'll just see people drive around on golf carts. That's how they go into the town center, that kind of stuff. Really, really cool area. So you have some parts that were built by McBride and there's actually some new construction going on right now. And then a lot of the more original homes were done by Whitaker. And these are the original ones that kind of have that neo-traditional kind of Nantucket, almost beach house style. The whole thing with Newtown is that it was kind of designed around this idea of new urbanism where you're basically like a quick walk away from the grocery store, restaurants, very walkable not as focused on cars, but you're literally in the suburbs of St. Charles. So I think that's kind of funny about it. And then you've got some awesome amenities. So there's the amphitheater for music and events. There's pools, there's a water park, outdoor space, walking trails, the canals. And then you've got restaurants, this wine bar, and these kind of food shacks where you can go grab a bite to eat. Like I said, it is a really, really unique place. And that is one of the coolest things about it. So it's definitely more of a lifestyle community. So for the people who move here for that reason, it's great but I get that it's not always the best fit for everyone. Now, like I said, it's close knit and there is a heavy presence from the HOA. So if you're not someone who likes having a lot of HOA rules, that's one thing you will notice about Newtown. There's a Facebook group for it. There is a separate website. So the HOA is probably one thing you wanna look into prior to making the move here. Now, the whole theme behind Newtown is that they did not want this to look the same as a lot of the rest of just like the mass suburbia with a lot of the same looking houses, cars in the driveways. So that's kind of why they did a different style here to have it look a little bit different. The cars for a lot of the driveways get parked in the back because you have a lot of these rear entry driveways. So that's why you'll have kind of these cleaner looking streets with cars parked on the side. So you'll notice a little bit of a different style. You got different colors going on. So they wanted it to be a little bit cleaner, but it's funny because some of the newer built parts right next door are exactly that. It's the cookie cutter, the car parked in the driveway out front. So it's kind of like you have this one area that looks completely different and then the very typical suburban area right next door. The aesthetic is really nice, but the streets can be a little bit narrow. So if you drive a bigger car or a truck, 
they are kind of narrow streets. And then you got a lot of these streets of these houses that will look out directly over the canals. You can get your paddleboard, you can get your kayak, you can go in the canals when it's nice out. That's what people use it for. Now, Newtown itself is not in a floodplain, but a lot of the areas around it, so a lot of the agricultural land is in a floodplain. So that's definitely one thing we get questions about a lot, especially after this past summer with the heavy rains and flooding. Newtown is not in a floodplain, but depending on where you end up living, you might be a little bit closer to it than some of the parks that are more towards the center of the community. Now here's the biggest thing people tend to hate about Newtown. You don't have mailboxes, so you have a mail room pretty much where everyone has to go to get their mail, get your Amazon packages, whatever it is, you don't have a mailbox in front of your house like you're probably used to. I mean, anywhere else in St. Charles County, yeah, you're gonna have a mailbox. Quick note on that. One thing I didn't think through when I filmed that video is that some of the newer built communities have a similar style of central mailboxes at the beginning of the neighborhood. Not a mail room, but some of these new construction areas will have central mailboxes. And still, you, you're not gonna have a mailbox in front of your house. It just depends. Just wanted to clarify on that because I had a feeling that might cause some confusion. So the mailroom is kind of the biggest thing because you'd probably think, I mean, if you're spending between four hundred and eight hundred thousand dollars and $800,000 on one of these houses, you'd expect a mailbox. And that's unfortunately not the case. If you do a lot of Amazon shopping, I mean, that's probably the place I shop more than anything. It can be tough. Now we've kind of had some mixed reviews because some people will tell you that they might deliver it to your door, but sometimes they'll just put it in the mail room. So it sounds like it's kind of unpredictable. Worst case, you're going to the mail room, but we've definitely heard sometimes they will put it on your front step. It definitely seems hit or miss, but the mail room tends to be more often you know, something people really don't like about Newtown. So the older parts of Newtown are usually about 15 years old. And then you have some parts that are pretty much brand new construction happening right now. And that is all being built by McBride. So the McBride area is kind of where you'll see this very cookie cutter, very copy and paste style. And it's completely different from the rest of the whole, you know, beach house style. McBride is definitely doing a different aesthetic than the Whitaker homes you're probably thinking of with Newtown. And I believe the original developer actually kind of got his inspiration from Seaside, Florida. So I can show you some pictures. Basically the whole aesthetic, I mean, pretty much matches that. You'd think these are beach houses somewhere in North Carolina South Carolina. That's kind of the aesthetic that a lot of the older homes mimic in Newtown. And for any of the houses in Newtown, you're looking at anywhere upwards from 400,000 up to about 700, 800,000 for some of those, you know, townhome looking coastal houses in Newtown. Now, Charlestown Landing and Charlestown Crossing is the new development section, and that is the different looking, very cookie cutter style that's right next to Newtown. So the clash between them is kind of funny because they're right next door to each other. But with anything new development, that's gonna start at around 250,000 to 300,000 and anywhere upwards from there with McBride. And then for anything lower on the price spectrum, you're gonna see some of these condos, some villas, and just kind of some smaller options that might be anywhere from the 100s to the 300,000s if you're looking to be somewhere in the Newtown area. Now, like I said, Newtown is more of a specific community. So one thing you'll notice that is different in Newtown compared to the rest of St. Louis is the transfer tax. So in Newtown, when you're buying or when you're selling, there is a transfer tax that goes along with that. For the rest of St. Louis, that does not exist. In Newtown specifically, there's a transfer tax that kind of goes through the community association that they use to fund different things for the community. So like I said, it is kind of a specific community in a few ways, the lifestyle, just the way that it looks and the setup and the transfer tax is one of those things with it. So it definitely is a beautiful area. It's got a lot to offer, really close knit community. And if you like the aesthetic of what you see, it could be a great fit for you. So if you're moving to the area or somewhere else in St. Louis, St. Charles County, whatever it is, just send us an email, send us a quick text message. That is what we're here for. We'd love to hear from you. And until then, thanks for watching. I'll catch you in the next video.